So we have covered all the Vietnamese words using prefixes and suffixes, but we still have more jobs that don't use those fixes, suffix, prefix fixing. So I'm gonna introduce you right now. I hope after this video, you will know a lot of vocabulary about jobs in Vietnamese. All right, let's finish. Class, civil servant or public servant. Công chức nhà nước. As I told you, nhà nước is the government and công is a Chinese Vietnamese word which means something public. Right, so công chức nhà nước. Secretary, thư ký. Thư ký, as thư is văn thư, that means the document. And ký is to write, to take note. Ghi chép, ghi chép or viết, right? Thư ký. Firefighter, lính cứu hỏa. Lính is the soldier. Cứu is to save. And hỏa is the Sino Vietnamese word means fire, lửa, lửa, right? Taxi driver, we have mentioned earlier, người lái xe. But we also have a Chinese word for them. Tài xế, tài xế, you drive, lái xe. Tour guide, hướng dẫn viên du lịch. So du lịch is travel, traveling. And to hướng dẫn is to instruct or to guide someone. So we have hướng dẫn viên du lịch. Right. Realtor or real estate agent. Staff, nhân viên, because they are staff, nhân viên. Môi giới bất động sản. This is so long. It's also as long as this one. Real estate agent, right? Nhân viên môi giới bất động sản. Because bất động sản is real estate. And môi giới is the verb. The act as go between. Right? Between some, the seller and the buyer. So, nhân viên môi giới bất động sản. Security guard. Bảo vệ. Bảo vệ. Chú bảo vệ. Anh bảo vệ as... Bảo vệ is to protect, but guard is can gap, security guard, we just say, bảo vệ. Cashier, thu ngân, thu ngân, as thu is to collect, and ngân means money, tiền, tiền, thu ngân, the person who collects the money uh, from the customer. Cook or a chef, đầu bếp, đầu bếp. Bếp is the kitchen, so we have đầu bếp. And if you want to say the head chef, you say bếp trưởng, bếp trưởng. A nurse, so now we talk about the nurse that in Vietnam, they just take like six months training or one year training or sometimes two years training. That is y tá, y tá, as y tá is medical. Receptionist, like uh, in, uh, in the front counter in a hotel or in a, a building, right? Lễ tân, lễ tân. Waiter, waitress, hotel, housekeeper. So we have the verb first, to serve something, serve someone, phục vụ, phục vụ. Room service, phục vụ phòng, as phòng is the room. So we have room service, phục vụ phòng. Or if it's a restaurant, phục vụ bàn. And you can use this in front of them to mention that a person or, but it's so long, we can drop them. We just say, phục vụ bàn, phục vụ phòng. So you can say nhân viên, staff, or người, person. Customer or client, khách hàng. Khách hàng, as khách is the guest. Khách hàng, the person who buys products or service. All right. Housewife or house husband in Vietnamese, we have only one word. Nội trợ, nội trợ. As nội is Chinese Vietnamese, which means inside, and trợ is like to help, to support. So the person who supports all the work inside your family, nội trợ, nội trợ. And like usually a housewife uh, stays home and the husband goes out to work. So the housewife supports and help all the housework, like that. Nanny, vũ em, or vũ nuôi, or người trong trẻ, người giữ trẻ. Baby sister, người trong trẻ, người giữ trẻ. As trong is to watch and giữ is to keep. Right, same, same. A writer, tác giả, 
tác giả so this is more general than author the tác giả could be for anything can be a movie can be a novel can be a book tác giả as we have the verb to create sáng tác so the person who creates something sáng tác manager quản lý quản lý managing director giám đốc just higher position from manage so manager is can he can be like um the lead of a department but giám đốc is the lead of a company managing director giám đốc um, not sure i translated correctly but he is the leader of a company right police traffic police cảnh sát giao thông as giao thông is traffic so we have cảnh sát giao thông công an công an so i will break them down for you công as in công cộng as in public and an as in an as in security the, the now right the security of a place so công an to mention the person who keep who maintain the security of a place. A judge, thẩm phán, thẩm phán. A CEO, giám đốc điều hành, like I told you earlier, so giám đốc is the leader of a company. So this is very high position, but he works in điều hành, to manage, to run, to operate, điều hành, so giám đốc điều hành. And the next one would be CFO, giám đốc tài chính, as tài chính is finance, so we have giám đốc tài chính, right? Thủy thủ is the sailor, and ship captain, thuyền trưởng, as thuyền is the ship, and trưởng is the head of that department, thuyền trưởng. So to explain thủy thủ, we have thủy is a Chinese word for water no twin ship right all right now let's talk about words that indicate person or people so we have the word which is chinese vietnamese nhân something nhân and nhân means human people so whenever you see nhân usually it relates to people so we have some words here like nhân dân, the people of a country, you can call them nhân dân and nhân viên as a staff, right? And nhân vật, nhân vật is the character in a story or in a movie. Nhân tố, so you have tố as in yếu tố, which is the factor of something. But if that factor is a person or people, you use nhân tố instead of Yếu tố, right. And then nhân sự is the human resource. Now moving on to vị, right? Vị something. So we put vị in front of the word of a job, a title, to show our respect to that person. So here are some examples. So you, we have vị thần, as thần is a god, like some uh, Greek god like Zeus or Hera or Poseidon or yeah so the 12 12 vị thần Hy Lạp so that's how you call the 12 gods of Greek okay vị thầy thuốc so thầy thuốc is the old word for doctor but in the past we don't call doctor bác sĩ we call doctor thầy thuốc so thuốc is medicine and thầy is like like teacher or who has much knowledge about one field so you call them vị thầy thuốc as you respect them because they have and cured and saved a lot of people and vị giám khảo is the judge so giám khảo is the judge of a competition or a contest and vị ân nhân who who save you the savior it's not the savior as in the bible but it's just who like really save you out of death our um, very bad you know, situation or who save you out of or rescue you out of a very bad financial issue right so you call them the savior 
as vị anh nhân vị anh hùng as anh hùng is the hero and nữ anh hùng is the heroine so you can say vị anh hùng or vị nữ anh hùng as the hero vị cha già của dân tộc so this is what um, phrase we use to mention about our old president our beloved president uh, Ho Chi Minh so we use the in poem, in literature, etc., we would indicate Ho Chi Minh as the old father of uh, our country, of our people. So we call him Vị Gia Gia của Dân Tộc. That's it for all vocabulary for <laughs> professions or jobs in Vietnamese. I hope my video is useful for you. If you like my video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like. I'll see you soon in my next video. Chào các bạn.